Welcome back to DBL. Every two seconds, someone in the U.S. needs blood, whether it's a cancer patient, a premature infant, or someone with a blood disorder. Just one blood donation can save up to three lives. Dan Richmond is one of those lives saved, and here is his comeback story. On a July day in 2012, it was a disaster, to say the least. Dan Richmond's life changed forever. It's a 90 mile an hour accident. It was Friday the 13th. Dan was a mile from home and his SUV was struck head on by another driver. Honestly, I didn't think it was going to be as bad as it was. His wife, Megan, rushed to the scene to be by his side. He was awake and he was talking to me and I was standing right next to the car. I saw her at the accident scene. I got to tell her I love her and that was the last thing I remember. For 37 days. Once they took me in, uh, there was literally someone in in the ED room squeezing bags of blood into my body as quickly as humanly possible. They used 121 units of blood to save my life. That was a horrible moment. Dan was bleeding from every space he could possibly be bleeding from. My wife was seven months pregnant at the time. She was there the entire time and you think I'm tough for surviving the accident, she's 10 times tougher. I mean, it was really scary. <laughs> I was scared. When I woke up from the coma, 37 days after the accident, I really, I felt completely out of time, out of place. I was seen double, didn't have a clue as to what was going on. And I had to learn how to walk again. I literally had to learn how to actually eat again. When he finally woke up and we were finally able to just talk to each other, it was just, oh, thank goodness, you know, you're back. Dan woke up from his coma in time for the most joyful moment in his life. I have a life now. I have, I have a little person who very much depends on me and I have to be there for him. Thank goodness he was up and, you know, ready to go when Sawyer was born. To define the joy of having my firstborn son in my hands. Thanks to Vitalant, the nation's second largest blood service provider, Dan was able to meet 17 of the blood donors who helped save his life. Because it took every single one of them to keep me alive. And meeting them was the most humbling experience I've ever had in my life. That was the most wonderful experience ever. I got to hug each and every one of them. So I didn't donate before the actual accident. I didn't, but now, knowing the effects and, and the benefits. To give of yourself to save someone else, whew, that's pretty amazing. An hour out of your time, out of your life, one day can make such a difference to so many others. They saved our life. They made our life that we have here possible. Now, Dan is an ambassador for Vitalin with a mission to inspire others to donate blood so that more lives like his can be saved. Such an incredible story. Now, while all blood types are needed, there's always an elevated need for type O blood to find out how you can save a life and fuel someone else's comeback story. Visit Vitalant.org. We'll be right back.